Hello everybody and welcome to our session about cluster management with the open source tool Punk for KDS. Um, my name is Benedikt Oetersberger and I'm going to introduce you today uh, into Punk. So let's start. We move over here. So uh, I'm the co-CTO at Mogenius and uh, I work with Kubernetes for now since 2018. Uh, so a couple of years and I'm focusing on the API of uh, Kubernetes and also on just Kubernetes usage as a DevOps engineer. Um, I'm also a full stack uh, developer and uh, my go-to language is Go and uh, I have a background in iOS development but this is, has been a long time ago. Uh, in my free time I love building custom Linux machines and gaming rigs. Okay, so let's start. So what is Punk for KS? Punk for KS is a, a lightweight Kubernetes manager with built-in team collaboration. And this is a main point because there are a lot of um, tools for um, Kubernetes management like K9S and Kubernetes Lens. And they are awesome, yeah, really. We'll, we are using them uh, all day long. And, uh, but uh, we were missing an essential part when it comes to uh, working with a lot of Kubernetes clusters in different, uh, from different vendors or different hyperscalers. Um, it's a huge problem uh, to share access. So, for example, you have a problem with a Kubernetes cluster and you simply want a, a colleague to look at the problem. Uh, you have to share somehow the kubeconfig. You have to work with the same IAM uh, authentication mechanism if you go to uh, AWS or uh, have uh, same access using Google Cloud GCP. Yeah? And so it's a lot of work. So And if you simply want your colleague to just jump in and, and help you with your problem or just to look up logs uh, or access a pod, whatever, you name it, and yeah. then uh, you have to share the config. And sharing configs is a really a sensitive topic because they contain, contain a lot of sensitive information. And uh, so we decided on creating a software where you can set up a lot of context and then share them with your um, colleagues, or friends or whatever. And um, uh, without actually sharing the kubeconfig uh, cube file. So if some of your colleagues might leave the company or if they simply don't have uh, the need to access a cluster anymore, you can revoke access and the colleague will be instantly um, uh, um, forbidden to access the resource. And you don't have to revoke your uh, cluster certificates or stuff like that. So it's an easy, easy way to handle multiple clusters and multi-cloud. So, yeah, we already have a web application. I discussed that earlier. We have a CL with CLI, which also supports all features of um, um, the web app. Um, and um, we also have a nice uh, uh, YAML editor and terminal access to pods. Uh, it's really nice with XTerm.js. It's really like a native experience when accessing. We also support RBAC and ingress controllers, multiple ones at the moment, engine X ingress controller and traffic. And uh, we also have proxy support if you don't like to enable ingress. Okay, so why would you use Punk? Yeah, you would use it to enable um, better collaboration with your colleagues in a multi-cloud environment. And <coughs> Our agenda for today is we are going to install Punk into a cluster. We are going to manage the workloads and resources. So I give you a quick demo um, that the features you already know when you know K9S or Kubelens. Uh, we are going to invite team members and manage the access roles. And in the end, we are going to remove Punk from the cluster and uh, make everything clean again. So uh, it's uh, easy to just drop in punk into your cluster and then remove it again without any hassle. Okay, 
So um, we also have a website for punk. It's punk dev for convenience reasons. So you can simply jump into our GitHub repository and look up the readme for installation. We also have a Slack. So if you want to participate, and, and we are really looking forward for you guys to participate in this project, then jump into it. Uh, bring up new feature ideas or just start coding with us. We are really looking forward to that. And uh, now I would say we just jump into the demo. Okay, so now we can close Office and start a new terminal. I'm going to make this window a little bit smaller okay and move it here and i'm going to start up a new terminal so first of all i'm going to access um, this website and it is punk.dev so it's easy to remember I'm scroll down to installation we support mac os and linux uh, using brew and uh, for Windows we use Scoop, which is really convenient. So all the features I'm uh, telling you about today also work uh, with uh, Windows and also we are supporting uh, WSL2. Okay, so let's just copy it, go back to our terminal and type in the installation commands. So it will take a little bit until the installation is finished. Yeah, I already have the newest version of Punk, so we can proceed. So let's fire up Punk. So if I start Punk, I, give a sm uh, I get a small introduction, what Punk does, what the first commands can be, and stuff like that. And so we are simply going to run Punk install. Oh, you al also have ov obviously a uh, help here. I mean, you see all, all possible commands here, subcommands, and we are going to do installation. And um, when you don't select the uh, param parameter minus i, uh, you simply have a local instance which is not accessible from the internet. So, but if you set up your ingress, we will determine your ingress controller and set it up accordingly to point to, for example, here, punk.localhost. So just let us start it. So we, first of all, we always tell you what context you are operating on so you don't uh, accidentally install it into the wrong context. So and now punk is already installed. So what happened here? We uh, installed a lot of different Kubernetes workloads into the cluster to make the operator run. Uh, and we created a an first and initial administration user. It has a random email address for security reasons and a random password. So please save this data in a safe spot because we will never be, never be able to see it again. Okay, so I'm going to copy the email address here and then go to the browser, type in punk.localhost, enter. So now you can type in the username, copy the password, put it here, and log into punk. So now we are logged into punk and we already get a lot of information here, like basic information about the cluster statistics uh, and uh, some settings over here. Uh, and uh, also the context switcher, but we will come to that later. First of all, I give you a short overview about the features. So here's a list of all namespaces which is available, and we have a huge load of different works, workloads which are possible to adjust here. So let's jump into the namespaces and select, for example, the punk namespace we just created. So if you go to YAML, you can also like set up a new label for example like test label with test and save it so now this workload is already uh, updated if you run into any errors we will tell you and uh, yeah that's simply it you can describe and uh, crud stuff with yaml okay so uh, more fancier now let's go to the pods and if you jump into, let's say uh, here, there, there's a traffic pod. You also have a log overview, 
uh, where you can see all logs, describe and YAML also, and you have a terminal. For example, here, if I type in, hit the terminal, I have a, a XTerm.js um, terminal open to the pod, and I can start working with it. For example, if I do something like this, I see what's installed here. That's that's great already. But I can also do fancy stuff like uh, running top. Uh, that's also cool. Full screen mode works, and I can do apk at um, htop, which is a little bit more fancy. Uh, if I run htop, you can see that uh, also we are doing color support and uh, resizing. If I do some right resizing here, resizing works as well. Uh, and that's it. So I can leave it again. And so you have a fully fledged terminal here to work with. And it's really easy to connect yeah, like this. And here you go. OK, so let's jump to the next feature. And from my point of view, or not obviously, it's it's the main point if I want to add different contexts. So I have my own context here. This is the context I installed when I ran um, the application in Docker uh, desktop, which it's currently running in. So if I add a new context, and I've prepared a context for that here, it's a K3S cluster we use for um, GPU um, operations. Like we have a cluster there with NVIDIA support where our uh, Llama 2 models are running uh, right in, inside our office here. And we use it for testing and uh, playing around with AI stuff. And so, and I want to uh, mm, use this to demonstrate uh, how easy it is to set up a different uh, cluster. So I select it here and I drag it over. So now it's uploaded and uh, I can import it. If there are multiple contexts in your uh, config file, we will also show them to you and you can select which ones you want to import. So now you see here there's a new context. The name was default, which is a little bit confusing. So let's do something like GPU cluster office, save it, then do a refresh. And so we have a GPU cluster here. So what we can now do is we can simply switch between these contexts. And so for example, if I now hit the GPU cluster context, and I go to the pods, I can see that our, one of our Llama instance, instances is running here and all the NVIDIA stuff for the GPU setup. And I can also do the same. I can simply jump into it and have some terminal fun. OK, so and you can do it with hundreds of clusters and hundreds of contexts. And now you have a lot of contexts imported to your application. And uh, now you want to share it with one of your co-worker co-workers. Co and so let's do that. So I jump back to the terminal. So we will have these features uh, in a few days also in the web application. But we always start with uh, programming um, the CLI features and then improving um, the web application. So let's start. So punk user list. So this is the currently added users. And now we are going to add a user. So this user will have the access role reader. So the user can access uh, um, most of the resources which are not security relevant in a reading manner. For example, a reader cannot access um, secrets. If you want a secret access, you need to have access level user or admin. So let's set up the user. So we have a new user, Matthew Jess Davis. Nice randomization. So let's copy it. Uh, oh, yeah. So and this user can now uh, log into um, Punk and see the resources which are available to him or her. So let's jump into the. So you can already see. Here, Matthew Jeff Davis is now one member of this team. 
Okay, so this is basically it. Yeah. Uh, we are going to uh, rapidly improve uh, Punk 4 k s so we will have a bunch of more uh, cool features and we are really looking forward for people who would like to participate uh, uh, in doing and working on this project. So create new features, create code, um, maybe just share ideas with us uh, and uh, let us build something really cool. Thanks a lot for your uh, attention and for your time and uh, I wish you a great day. Bye-bye.